Oh my god, that food was so good, but I'm so full. I want a nap now. We just had a nap like, all day. I want another nap. I'm in, I'm in food coma. I can't even walk back to Austin right now. They told us last night, but we got a breakfast with a couple of these rolls, some orange juice, some peach spread or something, and some other kind of spread for bread, and dessert for breakfast. And then we got coffee and tea. That was our options. Oh yeah, some kind of meat spread. Mm -hmm. yeah, Looks good. delicious. <laughs> station and now we're in another train station. So we're on the main train station now we're getting subway tickets to get to our hostel. It's always fun using the public transportation for the first time in the city because you have no idea how the system works. <laughs> checked into our hostel. It's called the Loft in Budapest. It is quite the building. So here's the, we're about, right now we're about one, two, three, four, five, six, no. We're on the fifth floor right now. Our loft, our hostel is actually right there on the sixth floor. That's why it's called the Loft. <laughs> yes, Frank. So we got in, checked in. Um, they actually let us check to, check in early, which is really nice. I'm gonna take this uh, scary elevator. They say it's only broken once, so I don't know. We'll see. <clears throat> um, so we got in around 8:30 ish. The train. The, tra the, tra the train arrived around 8:30 ish, and then we got here. We kind of got lost a little bit because Frank wanted to. Google us to a different loft. This to loft. Places. So, anyways, um, so we we kind of got lost in the We arrived. When did we arrive? I don't know. Maybe nine, ten ish. Okay. So, it's really small. Hi. Here we go. It's working. <laughs> Only four people max. Yeah. So, <clears throat> so we checked in uh, our ho our hostel staff member, our hostel host. Oh, on this side. The staff at our hostel um, gave us this uh, list of many things that we can go visit and eat and see and all that good stuff so after that we uh took a nap we were, it was supposed to be a one hour nap oh 
It was supposed to be a one hour nap. So we're supposed to be a one hour nap, and then we were supposed to do the 2.30 walking tour, but <laughs> we kept sleeping because it was, it was really tired because the, the sleep on the train last night wasn't that great. Yeah, so. It's hard to sleep on a train if not. Yeah, because you're like constantly moving. It's like it's like sleeping on a, a waterbed. You know, when there's like constant moving, you're like it's not comfortable, right? So, um, so anyway, so it's about four, three p.m. right now. It's about three, four p.m. Three thirty. It's about three thirty right now, and we're kind of hungry, so we're gonna go grab some <laughs> flies, some Hungarian food, and then just kind of roam around for the day. So. We'll probably do the walking tour either tomorrow or the day after instead. So, yeah, we haven't really seen Budapest yet, so there's really not much we can say about it, except so far it's pretty. The buildings are really nice. So, anyways, I don't know what the plan is today. We're just gonna wing it. Winging it. Okay, so we're at the this Hungarian restaurant that um, <clears throat> that one of the staff members at the hostel recommended. It's called Pi Pita. No. Pipa. Pipa. So it's very cute. It's like so Hungarian. And then we order. <clears throat> we want to try the, the dark beer. So I got a small one, of course, because I don't know what it tastes like, and he has a big one. Um, and then when the food comes, we'll show you what we got. So we got all. Hungarian dishes. Yeah, we want to try Hungarian food, so we got all the Hungarian dishes, so can't wait. Okay. Pretty hungry. <laughs> so, Frank and I both order a bowl and a cup of goulash because it's like, it's, it's like a traditional dish. Pretty much it's like soup. It's got beef, carrots, and potatoes. So it's kind of like a stew in a pretty oily, but it smells delicious. And if you like um, minestrone, it's pretty much what it tastes like. But uh, it's really good. Yeah. yeah, they gave us this uh, little spice thing. I'm not quite sure if it's for the soup or not, but this isn't spicy, so I'm gonna just kinda pass on that today. They gave us some I don't know if we're supposed to dip in it and eat it, but I'm gonna do it. Mmm. Delicious. So our main course has arrived and it looks amazing. So I have the pork medallions and it has a kind of sheep cheese and some other things in there. And then Sarah has the chicken paprika dumplings. It's like, is that like a noodle or like a potato thing? The dumplings. I'm all confused. <laughs> the dumplings. I thought the dark thing was a dumpling. This is chicken. Well, the chicken's not in the dumpling. You kind of like make your own dumpling as you go, right? Like you take this, I don't know. But this looks amazing. This giant plate of meat and vegetables and I'm excited. I need like a knife knife. It's not like doing it. It's really good, the sauce they have. With this cheese sauce and this little, it's basically kind of like a, some sort of pancake with a cheese sauce and these big chunks of pork on top. It's really tasty, really like hearty kind of feeling. It's like it could get you through the winter's months. So this is Sarah's chicken dumplings. Let's see. It's really good too. I love the texture of the dumpling. Like that potato dumpling is so like, has like the perfect texture. It's good. Nice. 
What do you think? It's good. <laughs> we are stuffed. Oh my god, that food was so good, but uh, I'm so full. <laughs> I want a nap now. We just had a nap like, all day. I want another nap. I'm in, I'm in food coma. I can't even walk back to the hospital right now. So there's a, a big market right across the street from the restaurant. It's like a big uh, like indoor indoor market. <laughs> it's like a fresh market where they have like vegetables and meat, and they have like souvenirs and little shops that sell prepared food. So it's a little like neighborhood, like farmers market type thing. Yeah. We're gonna check it out. We're gonna check out the market. Walk off some of this uh, of this potato and meat we ate. Yeah. Go check it out.